Okay, thank you all for coming today. My name is Jackie Moden, I'm a Botago practitioner and I'd like to introduce Paul O'Connell, who many of you know, who's a Botago practitioner also. We'll be introducing the cast <laughs> throughout the evening, throughout the afternoon. And I would like to, uh, on behalf of the Botago Institute of Breathing and Health, I'd like to warmly welcome you this afternoon. We're going to go around the world today. I know you thought you were just coming to the uh, State Library, but we're going to take you around the world with Botago in this celebration of what we think is um, a method that is uh, worldwide and very important uh, to people. So uh, without uh, further ado, um, and having said welcome, I'd just like to check that nobody's got any library books overdue while you're sitting here. Um, um, we can take them back later <laughs> to the library. And uh, let's start off. Now, pe most people here have, have uh, had a lot of contact with Buteco. Either they've done the method or they're partners or friends of people who have done the method. Buteco's discovery is significant and it's a significant milestone in the long history of science and medicine. A very brief history of science and medicine. Science and medicine developed from superstition and myth. 1492, Copernicus demonstrates the sun is the centre of the universe and not the earth. The church rejects the idea for 400 years. 1616, Galileo goes before the Inquisition and is forced to retract his extension of Copernicus's idea. 1628, Harvey circulation of the blood, overturning Galilean's ideas. 1750, black discovers carbon dioxide. 1770s, Priestley discovers oxygen. Lavoisier, the study of air, the study of the system of respiration. 1840s, Semmelwiss, recommends hand washing for surgeons between operations. His ideas are dismissed and he is confined to a mental asylum. 1859, Darwin proposes evolution by natural selection, causing a storm in the church. 1860s, Pasteur formation of germ theory. 1900s, Einstein's theory of relativity, and then many scientists contribute to the development of quantum mechanics. 1904, Christian Bohr, father of Niels Bohr, discovered that the dissociation of oxygen from hemoglobin in the blood is dependent on aviola carbon dioxide, the Bohr effect. 1908, Yandel Henderson experiments with forced respiration, hyperventilation of dogs, causing their death. 1910, the pharmaceutical industry begins after the First World War and rapidly develops. 1930s, mass marketing and PR industry further advances the pharmaceutical industry. There is huge advances in medicine between the world wars. Buteyko's work can be seen as a natural extension of that of many scientists before him. His work remained unknown to the West for around 40 years due to the isolation of Russia during the Cold War. This period coincided with the huge developments in technology and medicine. Along with the enormous increase in pharmaceutical use after the Second World War. Hence Buteyko's work took a very divergent path from the medicines developed in the West and was therefore met with the usual scepticism and ridicule of any new scientific 